This is the typical setup for an 18 wheeler. You have the trailer connector, has a little door, flips open, and you have the pigtail. When you plug in the pigtail, you close the door, it locks into place. A lot of times they get loose and they start to lose connection between the male pins in the trailer and the female pins in the cord. And when they do, you go riding down the road and you see trucks' lights flickering and flashing. And there are a couple ways to fix that and I want to go over a couple of them. One of the ways drivers will fix this problem is they'll unplug the pigtail and they'll take a small screwdriver. And these male pins, you can see them in there, they have, they're split. Each one of them, there's seven pins in an 18 wheeler. And what they'll do is take the screwdriver, put it in between these pins and spread the prongs apart because sometimes they get compressed and they don't make a good connection with the female plug in the, in the pigtail. So you spread those apart, but if you don't have a screwdriver small enough to fit inside, then get yourself a very thin blade knife to do the same thing. They'll be, sometimes they'll be pretty greasy, pretty dirty, but you just put those in there and you spread each one of them apart. And after you've done that, you come back, you take the pigtail again, and it's gonna be a little tighter this time and you have to push it in and then see if that worked. Another way drivers will try to fix the problem is they'll grab the pigtail and move it left, right, up, down, whichever way you need to. Let's say you pull it to one side. What they'll do is they'll take something like a paper clip and they'll put it inside, or if they pull it to this side to keep the lights on, then they'll put something in this side to wedge it in there and that'll hold it still. But as you can see, this paper clip doesn't fill the gap. The gap is too big, so the paper clip doesn't work. And sometimes these paper clips can break off inside and they will get inside the hole and they'll start to short out the, the wires and then you got a whole nother set of problems. The next way is guys will take a metal seal or a plastic seal, whatever you have, and it's the same thing. The solution is the same, it's just the different things drivers will use. You close it in half, pull the pigtail, okay, and that doesn't fit. So you might have to play with it a little bit. Okay, that, that kind of fits. But now you got all this extra stuff, and sometimes it's just not a perfect fit. And again, it's metal. You just don't know if, if that's going to be good or not. It's a lot of, a lot of extra work trying to, trying to get that to fit. Another way the drivers will take just these plastic zip ties. And some guys will keep a handful of them in the door of their truck. So when they have a problem, the like same thing, they pull it to the side and they stick in that, a plastic zip tie. And that one seems to work. You got different size zip ties. So if you don't have multiple size zip ties, sometimes it'll work and sometimes it won't because the gap will change depending on the type of trailer you have. Some of them have a small gap. This one is a medium size gap and they have some from Phillips that is just a huge gap. It's, it's like two and a half millimeters of a gap in between them. It's just very large and things like this won't work. One of the more common things people can do is they can take a business card and they'll fold it up to whatever size they need. Sometimes that's enough if it's not. But this one you have to like take it off and set it on the side like that and feed it in at the same time. I see that's too much. I got to uh, tear off a little bit, try it again. And this is one of the problems with paper. 
is getting it the right size to fit in the gap. And once you do, you got a little piece of paper sticking out. But the problem with that, well, let me go the other one. Sometimes you can take a piece of cardboard. A lot of guys will rip up a placard if you have one in your truck. A lot of people don't carry placards. I drive in the LTL industry, so we pretty much keep placards in our trucks. So you fold up a piece of cardboard of any kind. You can even rip off like the bottom little strip off your dispatch. And it's the same thing. You shove it in there. And you get it to hold. Problem with paper is you end up paper will compress over time. It's it's fit right fits right now, and you can wiggle it, and the lights will stay on. But you get rolling down the road 50 to 100 miles, and you notice your lights are all doing it all again. And then you got to stop, and you got to get another piece of paper and wad it up and play with it again, and spend another 15 minutes trying to get it to work. So with all these different solutions, I have come up and invented a tool. To do the job, one size fits all, whether it's a big gap, small gap, medium gap. And I have invented the pigtail wedge. It's a piece of plastic that is specially designed. It's thin at the front, and it gets thicker as it goes back. So what you'll do is pinch the lanyard, stick it up through the hole of the pigtail, most big truck pigtails have this kind of a, a system. You pull it tight so it hangs there. Then you pull the pigtail to one side and you plug in the pigtail wedge. And it works every time and it works all night every day. You can put it on the top, on the bottom, on the side, three o'clock, nine o'clock, doesn't matter. Works each and every time. What I've found with using the pigtail wedge is not only will it keep your lights on, keep the DOT off your butt, because it is a DOT finable offense of up to $200 if you get caught with your lights flashing going down the road. It's also six points against the driver CSA score and it affects the company's safety rating with the DOT. You get a worse safety rating, you start getting red lights with the pre-pass, you start getting scrutinized a little bit more. What I've also found is that using this, my truck would go through a pigtail every three months. It, had a, uh, it was just whipping back and forth and really wearing out the pigtail. It should last a year at least, but I'm going through one every three months. So I made this tool for the frustration of trying to deal with this every three months, but what I found is by using this every day on every trailer, it tripled the life of my pigtail. It went from three months to nine months. And the only reason I needed a new one at nine months is because the pigtail, the curly Q pigtail got worn out, it stretched out, and they had to replace it because it was swinging on the catwalk. It wasn't because it lost connection, it just got stretched out. So this is my pigtail wedge. I sell them for $10 a piece on my website, prodriverproject.com. It is the pigtail wedge, it is patent pending, and I look forward to hearing from you.